So let's get back to <clears throat> Resident Evil with my eight battery packs and four daggers and the shaft. Don't forget about the shaft. Shaft is very important. I think we have all the items we need. I think I have roughly everything I need. You may hear me eating at some point, which I've been told isn't such a taboo thing to do on streams, because I've literally eaten nothing all day besides some cough drops and, like, three Oreos. And I didn't eat much yesterday. To be honest, I haven't eaten much since I got sick. My appetite was just gone. But I need to start eating again. So, perhaps when I beat the game, I probably won't end the stream. I'll probably go on, like, more of an extended break. And just kind of chat it up with the chat a little bit. But I do need to get some food in me at some point. So, let's get back on track. <clears throat> we <laughs> we need to go back to this elevator and do some fun down there. I'm glad that conversation went as well as it did because people people seem relatively happy in chat, so that's good. I have an income, of course I have an income. My YouTube channel generates income. And, uh, you know, I do stuff for the Creature Hub, so that's also income. It's not that I only get income from tips. Uh, this puzzle is 4231, I believe. Yes. I don't know why I almost forgot that one. The way you solve that puzzle, you have to combine the cylinder and the shaft, and then um, there are some Roman numerals on the uh, completed item that you have to spin around a little bit. And that's how you figure out that puzzle. What is this? Is this ammo? I think I missed this ammo earlier. Yep, I did. Well, I got it now. I have almost 100 handgun bullets, so handgun ammo is not an issue. Quit YouTube and go back to Target. That sounds like a great idea. I would absolutely love to do that. Jill. Barry? <clears throat> Thank God you're safe. That would be amazing. You too, Jill. A noise I heard brought me down here, but... I didn't expect to find a place like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out. Of course, so we'll go down. I didn't know that about real survival. I think eventually I'll get to it, but right now I'm just having a lot of fun just playing the game like on normal or like very easy knife only. So I think eventually I'll get to hard and like real survival. Maybe invisible enemy. I don't know. The hell is that sound? It could be a person. Jill, go check it out. We had enough surprises for one day. I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Okay. Of course, Barry. Yep, stay back. Send Jill alone. Sweet. Um, anyway. Have I played Killing Floor? I haven't played Killing Floor much since we were at the first or second house, to be honest. Once I maxed everything out, I wasn't that interested. So an interesting thing to note about this area before I continue on, Lisa is in this area. And if you don't know who Lisa is, she's a big baddie from earlier that we can't really kill. Now depending on which direction you go in, that's where she spawns in the area. So I can control where Lisa ends up spawning um, just by choosing a direction. So in this case I want to go left to get some herbs. Actually, we're just going to reset her because I spent too much time talking. But that's the basic explanation. So, <clears throat> in that area, in that area, I want to go left. And I hope she's just not, like, by the door. I really hope that resets her. Because I've never been in this room just sitting there talking. So, in this case, I want to go left at a fork up here. Which is right here. So that means I'm gonna, gonna go right, which spawns her on the right, which means I can freely go to the left and not have to worry about her. So it's very easy to manipulate her spawn depending on which direction you eventually want to go. And I shouldn't run into her because we have to go over here and do a puzzle. <coughs> Yeah, definitely for real survival, a lot more planning has to go into it because you need to know what items you want to bring where. And that is like, that's managing beyond what I want to do 
Like, I don't think I'm really in the mindset to want to do that much managing, but I'm sure if I, like, sat down and, like, learned it and stuck with it, it probably wouldn't be that bad, but <clears throat> I just really don't have the mindset to play that in the beginning. I also have no idea what climbing the box does in the area with the broken flamethrower, because I've never tried it. So I don't know if you just automatically die, or if uh, there's something there. So I want to go that way, so I'm probably going to spawn Lisa over here. Just because I don't have to go over there. I'd rather just have a clear shot back to the door that I need to leave. Which, this isn't it, by the way. I went the wrong way. And Lisa made... No, nope, Lisa it's not fast enough. <clears throat> so I have no idea what climbing the box does. If I die, I'm going to be very upset. I see a lot of what about your channel, but I don't know what that means. Mmm, alright. Oh, there are items I left the room already. Okay. Well, that's not that big of a deal, though. I thought you meant uh, down here before it gets crushed. I didn't know you meant in the initial room with the box, but... I'm not even sure what items are there, but... I will get through the game just fine without them, believe you me. I thought you meant get on the box there, and I was like, that doesn't make sense, but now it makes a lot more sense. Also, yeah, Barry left us, and I may have accidentally skipped that cutscene, but it's just him going up an elevator. It's nothing too great. Do I know Lisa's lore? I know that uh, Trevor, George Trevor is her dad, and I'm assuming they experimented on her at some point. And I'm pretty sure she killed her mother and wears her face as a mask. So, my lore may be a little off, and there's probably a little bit more to it, but that's the gist of what I got. And yes, Barry, Barry did leave me. Barry, Barry definitely left us, because Barry is kind of working for Wesker. Alright, so now that I have the flamethrower, I need Lisa to spawn on the left. So we go to the left, there she is. Because we need to come here and hit this. Now, I might have left very quickly, and I don't know which direction she's going to come from. So, it's very possible that I walk this way, she'll be waiting for me, which she's not. But I need to go down here. All the way over here. Keep going. I may be out of position for this. I am definitely out of position for that. That should be better. There we go. So, now we're good to go. I don't know why someone asked me if I knew what Bay meant, because I don't even use that word. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure it, there's a couple different meanings to it, depending on who you ask. I think one of the meanings is before anyone else. I think that's what one of the meanings is. And now we got the stone ring, which will complete our thing. I don't know why I skipped that. Hopefully I can find that. Uh, was it here? I think it was here. I think it was this. Alright, family picture and notes. Family picture and some notes. Uh, there's something written on the back. November 10th, 1967. Uh, yeah, that. Uh, Jessica gets administered a virus. And, uh, a lot of science-y words that I don't know how to pronounce. Um, looks like the mother was disposed of and or possibly killed. And Lisa, uh, was kept around, it looks like. Observed constant results. Continue blah blah blah. Uh, George was killed. <laughs> There's a journal left by someone. Alright, here we go. I feel dizzy after that shot they gave me. I don't see mom. Where did they take her? She promised that we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? 
I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was a fake. Not my real mom. Some Same face, but different inside. Have to find mom. Have to give face back to mother. I got mom's face back. No one can have my mom except me. I attached her face to me so she doesn't go away. Because mom's, sa because mom's sad when I meet her without her face. From inside box, scent of mommy. Maybe true mother there. Stone box hard. It hurt. Steel rope in the way. Can't see mother because four stones. Daddy attached or attacked? I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. First, mom second. Inside red and slimy, white and hard. Not true mom where? Don't know dad. Found mom again. When attacked mom me, she moved no more. She's screaming. Why? Just want to be with her. Mom where? I miss yo. Well, that's pretty sad. So I'm guessing that either... Well, I'm guessing the mom died in an experiment or testing and Lisa knew so she killed a fake one or I'm just interpreting that wrong and Lisa accidentally killed her real mother but I think a fake one was killed I'm sure someone can explain it in chat way better than me but it's something like that yeah most of the Resident Evil lore is really depressing also by the way don't kill Barry in in your playthrough Otherwise, you're going to be very sad. Like, if you let Barry die, you're going to be pretty upset. Unless you just don't care. Alright, so. Having this object means we can finally leave the mansion. Finally. I have not gotten the secret weapon by, like, beating the game under a certain time. I have not beaten the game in under three hours on normal yet. So what we need for this next fight coming up, we need the wolf medal, the eagle medal. We need this. And I think we only need room for one more thing. So I think this is relatively good. I'm going to save here. Yeah, letting Barry die is really sad. You really don't want to let Barry die. Unless you're going for that ending for some specific reason. So we finally get to hype it up. <clears throat> we get to finally leave the mansion, and I'm pretty sure we never ever fucking come back. Thankfully. Thankfully, no more hunters, I think. No more mansion. We get to leave, and we get to the lab. And there shouldn't be a whole lot left after that. The lab is really a joke if you don't save Chris. Because you can really go through the lab in probably about 15 minutes if you don't save Chris. But it's a little bit longer when you save Chris. Because the thing with Chris is that you have to get all the MO discs and then put them in the MO disc reader or whatever the fuck they're called. And then uh, you have to go back and save him and blah, 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 blah. So it's a little bit more time consuming, but it's I'm pretty sure it's the best ending you can get. The mansion blows up. Chris and Barry live. Jill lives. Everyone's happy. No sign of Rebecca, though. Rebecca's probably dead, but Jill doesn't see Rebecca anyway. I should probably eat the, like, thing I made. Because I'm really hungry, like I said. Ever figure out why my YouTube channel growth slowed down? I have no idea. Maybe other better people started making videos and that's what happened, or I don't know. It's kind of an odd question to ask. Frankly, I don't really care that it slowed down. Because <clears throat> I can still have fun streaming games and uploading stuff for people who want to see it, and that's good enough for me, I think.
Um, actually, I should have gone through a different door. But as long as someone somewhere out there enjoys who I am or what I do, then it's not really a big deal to me, I think. And there were at least 3,000 people here. Over 3,000 people, so... I'd say that's, you know, not too bad. That's more than enough people caring about me than I thought ever would, so... I did pick up that... Okay, thank God. <clears throat> so the reason why we need to grab that other emblem on the way back is because there's a door behind the staircase in the mansion that you need two of those to open. I know I never checked it, but it does exist, trust me. And also the reason we need the wolf and the eagle medal is because right after a fight coming up, you have to put the wolf and the eagle medal um, inside their placeholders so that you can open up another area. And if you don't grab them before this fight, then you're going to have to backtrack and grab them after the fight. And it wastes time. I don't know what the stream is at anymore. It's probably below 3,000 because it's getting... It's past 12 in the morning where I'm at, so... A lot of uh, NA South America, just, just in general, NA time zone are probably going to sleep. Even though tomorrow is Saturday or is today Thursday? I don't know what day today is. Well, today is Friday. Well, it's technically Saturday now. Okay, so, all right. Well, yeah, I guess it is moving into the weekend, so. We're still at about 2,900. We're still at about 2,900, which is pretty phenomenal for a second stream that wasn't really scheduled, and people just came out and have, had a good time. I think the first stream I did had, like, 1,000 people, 1,500 people, so this is about over double the turnout of last week. And it's probably only going to get better as I stream more consistently and as I stream at better times during the day. Because then, there, again, there was another kind of late start today where I didn't start streaming until probably like 7 or 8. I think it was about 7. The first stream I streamed at about 10.30, 10 o'clock. So a bit better of a time. You're alive. I was worried because I thought you were... Yeah, good job, Barry. Start talking. Bravo. Good Go job. Down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. <clears throat> so Lisa's pretty upset. So if you don't give Gary, Gary, if you don't give Barry his gun back, he will die. But if you do, then he lives and he helps you out a little bit. So we're going to give the gun back to Barry. It's also very depressing if you don't give him his gun back. It's very sad. So this fight's pretty easy, especially if Barry helps you. You generally want to start with this one. Force Lisa to jump over the coffin and then go to this one. Barry will usually have your back, so he'll help you a little bit. Hopefully Barry has my back again, because she is going to be pissed. Whatever. I think this fight's pretty much over. One push, and that's the whole boss fight. So there you go. Yeah, Lisa is really great looking. If I was a horribly mutated monster, she would be amazing. She would be the girl of my dreams, but unfortunately, I don't know about that. Did you say Barry depressing? Well, I think it's depressing if you kill Barry. Or if you don't give him his gun back and then he dies. I think it's pretty depressing. Thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me. Go on ahead. Okay. Because when Barry, like, if you don't give him his gun back, Lisa just comes and decks him. And he flies off the edge and he drops a picture of his family. And then you pick it up and read it and it's just sad. But yeah, that is a pretty easy boss fight. That was a pretty close one. 
And this is also the reason why we got the Wolf and the Eagle medal, which... There we go. Perfect. Can't remember which one is which. But this is the reason why we took the Wolf and the Eagle medal before we did that fight. Because it prevents us from having to backtrack and then collect them from a different box. Apparently I ruined a pun, so my bad. Oh, it was supposed to be very depressing. I get it. I thought you were insinuating that it wouldn't be depressing that he died, but I get it now. I took you a little too seriously, I think. What's going on, Mike Evans? It's really fucking hard to read your name when it's yellow, by the way. Because yellow on white just doesn't... It's just not good. Oh, alright. Well, yeah, you can't change the, the theme to dark. But on mine, it's not dark, so I should probably do that. Then again, I can't even, like, log in properly right now. Or at least I couldn't in the beginning of the stream, so... I guess yellow would work in that case. Anyway. What do we need here? I think we're gonna save. Which, there are ink ribbons right here anyway. <clears throat> Yeah, that pun definitely went, like, directly over my head. Can I save, please? This typewriter is so finicky. Yeah, it should really be my nickname, the Pun Slayer. I just shoot them down because I don't understand them. So I inadvertently slay them. Ahem. <clears throat> Cough drop is gone. I need water. Am I going to post a stream schedule if I ever get a stream schedule? I mean, at this point, it's kind of like stream when I want. Stream when I feel like it. Stream when I'm in the mood. <coughs> the only reason I didn't stream consistently in the past week was because I was sick and felt like garbage. It just wasn't fun. So as you can tell, we have, a, we have quite a bit of ammo for stuff. We do have a little bit of ammo, so we should be good to go. I shouldn't even really need my pistol anymore, but I'm going to keep it for whatever. We should be fine. I should really be carrying around MO discs. <clears throat> but I'm not. But we have a couple of zombies in here to deal with, so it's been a while since we got to kill some regular zombies. Alright, see you later. And zombie number two. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, there's three zombies here. And now I think they're both dead, but neither of them got decapped, so... I will probably get... Uh, some kerosene to take care of those. In fact, let's just do that now. Well... Yeah, let's just do that now. I'm already here. Because I know I'm going to have to come through this area a few times, and probably by the end of it, they're going to be Crimson Heads, and I'd rather just get rid of them now. <clears throat> uh, Yeah, we'll go with that. I need to find the lighter. We need that as well. There's the lighter. Put the old shells back. In fact, I could have just carried them with me because I'm going to have to come back and dump the kerosene anyway. <clears throat> I saw a height posted in the chat. I don't know what it was for. I hope someone didn't say I was 5'5", five because five, I'm not. I'm, I'm a five five. Oh, okay, you're 5'5". Five five. I was about to say I'm a little taller than 5'5". Five five. I didn't oh, even burn the stupid zombies. Know. Stupid autopilot. Why did I even ask you that question? Get out of here. You're in trouble for me asking you a question. That's what just happened. It sounds fair, because it is fair. Meanwhile...
I still upload gameplay videos from streams, more than likely. And some games that I think would I would rather record regularly as opposed to streaming them. Like Bloodborne I mentioned earlier. I, I don't think I'd like to stream Bloodborne. I feel like people would probably just get really mad. And I don't want people to get mad. Yeah, I'm like 5'9"-ish. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. Because, like, I'm 5'9", and everyone just says that I'm short. Which I really don't think 5'9 is that short. I mean, could it be taller? Yeah. Could it be a lot shorter? Of course it could. I like my height. It's a nice middle ground, I think. Yeah, I'm about 4 foot 20 inches. Exactly. More magnum ammo. I probably missed some magnum ammo throughout the game, but it's not that bad. So, <clears throat> this is also another puzzle. We'll read this, though. V-Act researchers note, There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them V-Acts. It speed it and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it. Wow. Turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. Well, this is about Crimson Heads, I guess. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Oh, well, that's great to know. At the end of the game, they talk about the one of the first bosses that we fought. So anyway, you figure out this login and this password in a different room that I ended up skipping altogether. Which I should probably go back in, but the password- the login is John and the password is Ada. There's also- well, you can open up B3 on its own by itself. But there's also another puzzle you have to solve in order to open up B2. Fortunately for me, I already know the password to B2, and if you don't know it, it's cell. So just type in cell, and then the door will be open. Who's lying? Did I lie? What did I lie about? I think someone's calling me a liar. I don't know why. What am I lying about? <clears throat> what did I lie about? I don't know what's going on in this chat anymore. It's going crazy. I forgot where I need to go. Yeah, you'd think height wouldn't matter, but it does. A lot. To some people. I think these are herbs. Yep, they are. Two green herbs. Uh, where do I need to go? So this this was one of the doors that we opened right here. This is where Chris is at, but we can't get in there without all the mo discs. So I'm pretty sure I'm like pretty sure I'm like five nine. I wish I was six five. I would be the greatest ever if I was six foot five. Yeah, the naked zombies are pretty tough. They just don't care. If I was six five, I would be amazing. But I'm not. I'm a piddly 5'9". So we got a fax to the Sanitation Division. Attention Manager of Sanitation from Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee, the RDCC. Ooh. Contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the named addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately, which someone already screwed up there, because I'm reading it right now. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-Viruses outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-Virus and died. Well, that's great. 
It has also been reported that almost all the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Second concern. Our secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Well, then not such a secret anymore, is it? Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern. There is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore... The success, our research results, uh, actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and stars. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Amazing. And then this is one of the Modisk uh, doohickeys to save Chris, so we will use the one that we have. There's number one. And as you can see, one of the lights is now green, which is amazing. So I don't think we need to do anything in here. We don't need that item. I'm like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, I'm not really 5'7". I don't know why we're still talking about my height. <laughs> like around that area. I haven't measured my height in god knows how long. Like, who cares? Okay, if I was trying out for a basketball team, then let's care about my height. But I play fucking video games. You can't even see what I look like most of the time, and you definitely can't tell how tall I am. So I have no idea why so many people care about, like, someone's height. Now I need to remember where I was going. I need... Okay, we need to go upstairs to the other door. Like, I literally sit behind a monitor or a TV, and I play games. And my height has almost nothing to do with that. So whether I was 3 foot nothing or 18 feet tall, I would think that it wouldn't matter, but it ended up mattering to a lot more people, a lot more than I thought it ever would. Which is really odd. Am I a manlet? I don't fucking care what I am. I am who I am, and there you go. If you don't like who I am, that's cool. You don't gotta like me. I need these shotgun shells. <clears throat> I need some water. Alright, so now we gotta go to the stupid cell door that we opened as the camera. There we go. Do I play Fez? No. I do not. How much do I weigh? 300 pounds. I'm a 4 foot tall, 300 pound manlet. And that is who I am. <clears throat> also, another puzzle. Uh, I already know it. If you're wondering what it is, it's 8462. Done. If you're wondering how you get that information, there was an item that we needed to pick up and put in here that uh, tells you the solution, but I remembered the number, so thankfully we don't have to do that. We'll take this for the hell of it. And some more shotgun shells could never hurt. And also this key. And I'm pretty sure we picked up the video from Kenneth super early, so this is finally where you get to see it. You can finally watch Kenneth's film from the beginning of the game here. I really don't know how these guys got dispatched of, like, so quickly. Like, it seems like most of these guys just died to, like, one zombie or a couple dogs. Do I still play League? I never really got into League a whole lot. I played a little bit, but never really tried to get into it. So, we have that key. Let's go drop some stuff off. So, I'm Gimli. I don't think Gimli has anything on me. I think I'm about 
double Gimli's weight at 400 pounds. I'm like a fat Gimli, I guess. If I were 400 pounds. So I think this is about good. Actually, I'm going to take the second MO disc. I just saw it. I don't know. Okay. I was probably like looking at it and just left it. I know there's... There it is. There. Did I ever play WoW? I played WoW for like maybe two hours combined. My WoW career is two hours long. And it was the worst career in WoW history, I think. Should I play more Smite? Well, of course you should play more Smite. If you like the game, if you hate the game, then no. You should not play more Smite, but... If you enjoy the game... Then you should definitely play more of what you enjoy. So this laboratory key only opens two doors. One is right here. The other is right here. And then you discard. See you later. The only reason we're gonna go in here... Primarily just to drop off one of the Mo Discs. Unfortunately, there's some stupid, like, enemies in here that will follow you around. I don't really know what else is in this room. There's probably, like, some items around here or something. Like, I don't know what the hell is in here. I've never really, like, fully explored it. Also, see you later. I thought that was something glowing. Because I don't think you can even open this door. It's rusted shut. Like, I don't know what this area is for other than just putting in the MoDisc. But there's probably something in here that I've missed. So we'll quick drop this mo disc and then just get the hell out. Oh, there's a battery pack in here too. Well, that's great. I didn't ha I, I don't think I've used a battery pack the whole game. I have nine of them. So that's number two. And then we can just leave. Except something is in this room with me now. And it hit me. And now it's dead. I think I'd stream Payday 2? Maybe. I haven't played Payday 2, like... I haven't played much of it in, like, over a year. I played it here and there. But I got to level 100... Before they, like, introduced the prestige... I don't know what they call it now. I think it's just prestige. But... I, I got to level 100, bef like, right before they implemented that, I think. And then... I was, like, really burnt out on it. Because I played it, like, all day for a long time. Anyway. We're at another save room. I need to eat the rest of this food. So we're probably going to take a break. And then we'll come back and we'll probably beat the game. Because I don't think there's a whole lot left. I have the almighty uh, fueling to do, which is great, and I'll probably die. Uh, there we go. There's that. Uh, we'll put this away as well. We'll save the game. I don't own a beard because I can't own a beard. Because I can't grow a beard. Because I don't think I ever fully hit puberty. To be quite honest. 